Hello my friends, welcome back. I'm in a great mood because I decided to check out a new Joann's location. I just drove about 40 minutes to this location because I saw that they have more yarn available and more in stock than the one that's closer by my home. But hopefully this pays off because on the app they had a bunch of yarn available that I've never seen before. So let's head in there together, see what we can find. I'm gonna try to recommend as many new-ish fibers for you guys. I love doing these types of videos and I know that you guys also really enjoy them. Welcome to another Come Yarn Shopping With Me vlog. Let's head inside. Let me just start off this video by saying y'all are not ready to see all of the yarn that I'm about to show you guys. And then second of all, I just wanna let you all know the official Naughty Hooker merch collection has launched. It is currently available for pre-order on my website. I'm not too sure when the pre-orders are going to close down so that I can make all of the hoodies and the sweatshirts and the tees. But currently I am wearing the Therapy hoodie. We've just got the Naughty Hooker logo on the corner. We've got the Crafting is my Therapy logo on the back side. And then coincidentally, I'm also, <laughs> I've been living in these Naughty Hooker lounge shorts probably all week. If you guys are interested in shopping some of the new merch collection, head over to the website right now because these bad boys aren't gonna be available forever. That's all I have to say. Let's go ahead and get into the yarn shopping video. Get a load of this. The very first yarn that I came across when I was browsing through Joanne is the Eddie Bauer Cozy Camp. Now, Cozy Camp is labeled as a 100% recycled fiber. I seriously cannot believe that Eddie Bauer came out with a yarn line. I don't know if this is just brand new to me or if I've just never heard about this, but I was pleasantly surprised. Now, this being a sustainable fiber, this is actually a 100% recycled acrylic fiber. Y'all know that recycled fibers don't necessarily have the same amount of softness that the standard acrylic might have. So I would give this on a scale of one to 10, about a six or so on the softness level. It does kind of remind me of a 100% wool fiber, but it's not too shabby. And as you can see, it is also labeled as a number four worsted weight yarn. And I would have to say that for the fall months, this is gonna be such a great option. And these colors are definitely screaming fall autumn vibes. Next up, I stumbled upon some more fall autumn-esque type of colorways, and this is actually the Lion brand Jiffy. Now the Jiffy line is previously from their From the Vault series. As you can see, this is an extremely fuzzy fiber. It is labeled as a 100% acrylic yarn, and it is also a number five bulky weighted fiber. Now online, this is labeled as a machine washable acrylic, but to be honest with you guys, I wouldn't dare throw this in the machine with this much fluff and fuzziness you're definitely prone to pilling and fleecing very very quickly so I would most definitely hand wash this but to be honest with you guys this feels so comfortably soft the fuzziness has a really nice almost faux mohair type of effect so I could totally see myself making blankets scarves sweaters anything kind of like winter inspired especially this being a number five bulky weighted fiber go for anything that's going to be a little bit more chunky like a bean or mittens and I absolutely fell in love with the fall inspired autumn colors. Following suit with the more fall autumn types of fibers, we're coming up with the next item, which is the Bernat Plush. Now I have previously seen the Bernat Plush big or thick, but this is a number six bulky fiber, so it's a little bit thinner than the standard plush big one. This fiber is made with a squishy velour shelling with a tubular construction, which is ultimately gonna add a really clean, almost pillowy type of texture that you guys could use for all sorts of home decor I would highly, highly recommend this, even for clothing, if you guys are looking to make like really thick and chunky cardigans. This is also labeled as a 100% polyester fiber, so y'all know you definitely can throw this into the washer and the dryer. There shouldn't be any issues with this one. I don't know if you guys can tell by the excitement in my voice right now, but I happen to come across the next fiber, which is the Juicy Couture Luxe Velour Sparkle. The 90s kid in me is completely freaking out over this right now, but let's go ahead and run through it. The Lux Velour Sparkle is labeled as a number five bulky weighted yarn, and this does consist of 98% polyester with 2% metallic threading. I've worked with a ton of different velour fibers in the past, and I have to say that by far, for whatever reason, this Juicy Couture one has to be the softest velour fiber 
I think I've ever touched with my own hands. As you can see, the sparkle one does have that little bit of metallic threading. So you're gonna have just an extra little pop of luxury and sparkle and glam. But believe it or not, if you guys aren't in the market for, you know, sparkle and shine, the Juicy Couture also comes in a standard luxe velour, like solid colorway. But without that little bit of metallic threading, this fiber is actually 100% polyester straight through. You can definitely machine wash this. I would honestly even throw this into the dryer. But what I love the most about bulky velour yarns, like this one, also kind of known as a chenille fiber, is that you can use this for whole projects such as blankets, purses, cardigans. But the fun thing is you can also use this as like a little accent trim. So add this as like a little border on the edge of your blanket or add this as a border to like a mini skirt. There's so many things that you can do with a velour yarn and especially with the fall months fast approaching. This is going to be such a fun way to implement and kind of mix in different fibers all throughout the same exact project. I'd have to imagine that this is extremely easy to work with and because it is a number five bulky, you'll get it done quick. All right, let's keep the excitement train rolling. Next up, we have the Big Twist Hush. Now, this isn't necessarily a new fiber, but at least in my own opinion, I do think that they launched new colorways for the upcoming fall and autumnal month. The Big Twist Hush is labeled as a number five bulky fiber, and it does consist of 100% polyester. As you can see, Hush is made with a very gentle twist of a solid color, but believe it or not, this is also another extremely buttery smooth, baby soft fiber. I absolutely love the feel of this one. I would highly, highly recommend this. Again, for any type of blanket, scarf, even a sweater. What I also really enjoyed about the Hush line is the fact that they have not only very bright, bold, striking colors, but they also have a nice kind of warmer, subdued, almost pastel type of colorway. So the options are kind of endless you definitely have the pick of the litter at very first glance i was actually really hyped and excited to finally see new colorways of the big twist living now living comes not only in this kind of striped or assigned pooling type of colorway they also have some standard solid colors that have been out on the market for quite a while but anyways the living yarn is labeled as a number four medium or worsted weight fiber and this is a 100 percent anti-pilling acrylic i will always recommend the anti-pilling over a standard acrylic yarn this next fiber i was so excited to see in stores because I've heard so many interesting things about this brand new fiber. This is the Lion Brand Local Grown. Now the really cool thing about Local Grown is that it's 100% USA wool. Born, raised, sheared, spun, dye, everything is done in the US. And on top of that, this is labeled as a number four worsted weight fiber. And this is again, 100% wool. So for all of the people who are always asking me for more natural fibers, I would highly recommend this one. Now keep in mind this being a 100% wool fiber, not merino wool, just straight up wool. This is not the softest fiber that I've ever felt. On a scale of 1 to 10 for the softness level, I would have to give this unfortunately about a 6. That's the highest I can go, 6 out of 10. It's not terrible by any means. I definitely feel that you could use this for almost any type of project. Again, this having wool, it's going to be very stretchy, very warm. It's going to have a lot of elasticity, a lot of durability, but still I would want to hand wash this. And if you guys haven't already seen by the footage, look at the color selection. We've got warm tones, we have cool tones, we have very bright striking as well as a little bit of pastels. They have so many different colors and I really appreciate the effort that they put into producing this line. The fiber addict in me is about to lose her mind. Next up, we have Darn Good Yarn. Yes, you heard me. Joanne is now carrying Darn Good Yarn. And if you've never heard of Darn Good Yarn before, let me just tell you that all of the yarn is spun and dyed by women co-ops over in India. So you guys are helping to support female jobs. But anyways, back to business. This fiber is the Journey Recycled Silk Yarn. Now this is a recycled silk fiber, 100%. So some more really great eco-conscious sustainable fibers and something that we don't see very often is the fact that this yarn right here is labeled as a number two sport weighted fiber i absolutely loved the feel the look 
just the whole outcome of this yarn. It is so incredibly stunning. You guys need to get your hands on this because it feels incredibly buttery, buttery smooth. I could not recommend this enough. I mean, there's nothing more I can say other than the fact that this is a sustainable silk fiber. How often do we see silk in Joann's? We have another brand new fiber in the Joanne family. This is the Wool Ease Fair Isle. Now, very similar to their past, just straight up standard Wool Ease, this Fair Isle is also made of 80% acrylic and 20% wool. This is also labeled as a number four medium or worsted weight fiber. So it's kind of standard all the way across, but what makes this so unique is the fact that they have a really interesting way of dyeing the fiber to mimic a Fair Isle pattern or technique so for those of you who really want to step up the knitting game you don't have to hassle with multiple balls of yarn and like stitch counting and trying to mimic a pattern you can just pop on this bad boy to your needles and you're gonna get a really interesting kind of pattern from it I will have to admit though I don't know if it's just me but I wasn't really impressed with the colorway options that they had in stores I feel like a lot of these colors kind of gave off like Easter Bunny vibes. Nonetheless, here we have it if you guys want to check out the brand new Fair Isle. Y'all, I was starting to get hella impressed because Eddie Bauer is on their sustainable game right now. This is the Eddie Bauer Fireside Plush. As you can see right off of the bat, this is a very thick and chunky number seven jumbo weighted yarn and like i mentioned earlier this is a 100 percent recycled polyester now i said previously that recycled fibers don't typically have a ton of softness but this is by far my voice just cracked this is by far the softest plush jumbo yarn i think i've ever felt i would honestly put this above the bernat plush because it just has that extra level of softness i don't know what they'd be doing to the yarn but this stuff is amazing it's a chenille style fiber you can make any type of home decor blankets baskets i don't know what else but it feels really really good and all you have to know is that i ended up purchasing some of this for a project and to go ahead and finish out the video, I almost forgot that there was a whole nother section of the Wool Ease Fair Isle. I just wanted to include this into the video to show you some more of the color options. These are a little bit better than the ones that I showed you guys earlier, but I'm still not super impressed. I would love to see other colorways and see how creative they can get. But here it is nonetheless. It is a really nice feeling fiber. I'll have to give it that, but yeah, here we are towards the end of this yarn shopping video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and just know I'll have a ton more of these types of videos coming out towards the end of fall and winter. So thank you guys for watching. Stay safe. I love you. Bye.